so I laid hands on a 97-inch OLED, cast eyes on some transparent OLEDs, and even took a virtual ride on a bicycle with a curved OLED screen. These are just some of the cutting-edge OLED technologies being demoed at LG Display's brand new showroom in South Korea. Transparent OLED is an important offering in LG Display's portfolio, as the company seeks to continue its dominance in the large screen OLED market. Capable of redefining the concept of space either in the retail or home setting, transparent OLEDs benefit from OLED's self emissive properties to deliver up to 40% transparency in a thinner and lighter form factor than transparent LCD displays. As a proof of concept, LG Display has partnered with Paris Baguette, a futuristic Korean bakery to install 38 55-inch transparent OLED digital signages throughout the store. Six such transparent OLEDs hang from the entrance of the bakery, attracting visitors' attention through a variety of content without completely blocking the view to inside the store. Behind the table area lies a transparent media art wall that's made up of 22 transparent OLED screens, elevating the interior design with non-static digital art. Furthermore, the baking zone is walled off by eight transparent OLED displays with augmented reality, letting customers watch the baking process while enjoying digital artwork that introduces various product features. While most use cases for transparent OLED are currently in the commercial sector, such as for signage or on public transport, LG Display hopes that transparent OLED will eventually make its way into people's homes, for example in the shape of this lifestyle concept where a transparent shelf can let users watch live television, or display various artworks in the background to blend in better with your living environment. For now, the bread and butter OLED product manufactured by LG Display that most consumers can afford is OLED EX panels implemented on many 2022 OLED televisions. And while in South Korea, I asked the company to shed some light on its OLED EX technology. So, Dr. Yu, this year, LG Display has marketed its latest OLED panel as OLED EX. Can you please explain the core ingredients of OLED EX? OLED EX uh, is LG Display's most advanced OLED panel product with improved luminance of 30% uh, by applying the deuterium material, an improvement of reliability by 30% by applying a personalized algorithm, and an improved immersive viewing experience uh, by applying new narrower bezel uh, technology. First, by having extra deuterium, which is extracted from water, is literally twice as heavy as light hydrogen. By applying deuterium to the OLED panel, we created a stable device that is more resistant to electric current and heat than before. In order to achieve a brighter screen, a large amount of current must be input to the device. And thanks to the added stability of deuterium, OLED EX is reliably able to withstand high currents. As a result, uh, OLED EX can achieve a 30% higher luminance compared to existing OLED technology. And second, the concept of personalized algorithm is an upgraded compensation technology. Based on AI big data, OLED EX can analyze consumers' viewing habits and can calculate for OLED degradation, allowing for optimal energy to each pixel and achieving uh, optimal efficiency. Uh, by understanding real-time image data, the degree of consumer's usage is recognized as OLED degradation information. Uh, this is an advanced technology that enables more accurate compensation and increased aperture ratio through AI modeling. Third, EX technology maximizes immersion by realizing a 34% narrow bezel compared to the previous OLEDs. Uh, existing GYP technology requires dozens of TFTs and control signals, and it was possible to reduce to bezel by developing a GYP uh, with circuit integration and simple driving logic. 
What benefits do these ingredients bring to OLED EX? By applying these core technologies, uh, we have been able to get closer to natural reality, which is the goal of OLED. ACE, which is a consumer benefit of OLED, has been further strengthened. It has evolved into a product with more value compared to existing products in terms of picture quality, which can more accurately express the creator's intention provide eye comfort with its picture quality and it's eco-friendly. It's interesting that you mention natural reality because many manufacturers and potential TV buyers have been chasing wider color gamut and higher color luminance in recent years. Are you able to explain what you mean by natural reality? Uh, we have investigated the color distribution of the standard video and general broadcast which most closely matches consumers' viewing patterns. 70% of images are located near the white point, which correspond to memory colors such as skin, sky, and grass. Uh, this means extremely saturated colors are rarely used for general consumer videos. Also, most content, including UHD Blu-rays, are graded to PCI-P3 colors. Uh, what is more important is the color accuracy rather than uh, color gain size. Uh, OLED realized picture quality uh, that is optimized for actual consumer content. Now, despite long-term data and consumer satisfaction, some potential OLED buyers remain wary about burning. Is OLED EX more prone to burning because of its higher brightness? Um, in general, uh, when a high brightness device is implemented, the lifespan generally decreases. And conversely, when the lifespan is emphasized, the luminance decreases. Uh, OLED EX performance was improved through the application of Qtelium which made it possible to achieve high luminance and reliability at the same time. We created a benzene group containing hydrogen and replaced hydrogen with deuterium. As a result, it was possible to exceed the limits of brightness and lifespan by using high brightness materials that had not been used before. Uh, the stability of deuterium and personalized algorithm dramatically contributed OLED lifetime to improve. This year, the first QD OLED panels have been introduced to the market. Do you feel threatened by the competition? Um, it is not appropriate to evaluate other technology here, uh, but LG Display has been driving the OLED business alone for the last 10 years. Uh, it is not negative to have a partner also promoting the self-emissive display business. Uh, there is always room for growth and we welcome expansion uh, of the OLED market. Hopefully, uh, we'll compete in a good pace. Right. With QD OLED technology, they are limited at 55-inch and 65-inch screen sizes. What form factor benefits do you think your OLED EX technology can bring? Uh, our company has a variety of sizes to meet the needs of consumers while significantly improving the luminance and reliability of OLED panels. Uh, based on this, the TV sizes, uh, we have 55, 65, 77 inches as well as the extra large sizes of uh, 83 and 97 inches uh, deliver perfect home cinema. Uh, for consumers who want gaming or a second OLED TV, the size has been diversified with 48 and 42 inches. Uh, in the future, we are preparing more various sizes of OLEDs. Uh, LG Display OLED uh, has built a full lineup of superior performance and various sizes and form factors including adding transparent OLED. However, uh, we are not satisfied with this uh, and are continuously striving to uh, develop technology from the viewpoint of consumer convenience and experience expansion. Now, 
I asked LG Display a few more challenging questions, but because of the competitive landscape, and also to maintain confidentiality with TV manufacturers who purchase their panels, LG Display were unable to answer these questions publicly. To find out how OLED EX actually translates into a real-world TV in terms of picture quality, please watch my review video of the LG G2 by clicking here.